Well, he's made a living of attacking waves that very few would ever dare to do so. Now filming his life and accomplishments is set for screening at the Doors Duke Theater tonight. Joining us this morning, Chris Burdish. Thank you so Thanks much for much. having me. Thanks very much for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Okay, well, before we dive into the, the screening itself, let me ask you, we, we saw the waves that you attack. You're a Mavericks champion in 2010. What even motivates you to look at that like a 30-foot wave and be like, yeah, you know what, I kind of want to ride that? <laughs> You know, um, a lot of people ask, ask me that question, and um, I think it's quite simple, actually. Um, you know, I've very, been very fortunate to be involved in and um, immersed in the ocean at a very early age, so it's sort of become my second home. And I think like everything in life, you, you, you know, you start at a certain, po a certain point, and then you reach your, your comfort zone, and then you push past that comfort zone, and eventually that comfort zone shifts, and, you know, until you're surfing waves that are the size of five-story buildings. And, you know, that's the one thing that um, where I've feel completely comfortable and happy. So. And all of that is going to be documented on this film that's going to be debuting tonight, Ocean Driven. Tell me all, ab all about that. Um, Ocean Driven is a story, I think, which chronicles sort of my life from a really early age right through until um, overcoming a whole lot of obstacles and challenges and eventually getting to compete in the, the Mavericks event, which is the quintessential sort of Olympics of big wave surfing. And, um, on a day that sort of changed surfing history forever and um, I was very fortunate and humbled to be part of that day and just to um, surf on that day was um, quite a spectacle so and to come out on top at the end of a day like that was sort of more than a dream come true and I think that it chronicles that journey and I think it's a story about courage, determination and the power of dreams and never giving up on any goal that you set your sights upon until you see it through. Now, speaking of goals, you will have a Q&A tonight, but you also have another uh, milestone coming up for yourself uh, in, in the very near future. Um, numerous different milestones, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we're just launching the film, and then I launch my book when I get back as well, and um, next year we, I'm planning on doing the, hopefully the first ever transatlantic um, on a stand-up paddleboard across from Morocco all the way through to um, um, around Miami. New York area, so um, yeah, there are a lot of obstacles in our in our way for that. But um, you know, as long as we can cons stay consistent and focused and and um, driven onto those points, we can sort of achieve anything. All right, Chris, thank you so much. Always Again, a pleasure. It's good to know that somebody is setting their goals and accomplishing them. Let, let's toss up the uh, the facts again real quickly for everybody. Again, this is the Honolulu Surf Film Festival. It runs through Saturday at the Doris Duke Theater. Ocean Driven premiering tonight at 7.30. For tickets and more info, you can visit the As Seen On section of KITV.com. For now, let's toss it over back to Laura.